welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Create a Sim series where I create sims inspired by Hamilton the musical. So in this part we're creating the Skylar sisters but before I start I want to thank you all for getting me to 100 views on the first Hamilton Create a Sim video thing I did. Um, it was a while back and all of a sudden it, the views just started rising and rising and rising and now I'm at 100 views and it's my first video reaching 100 views so thank you so 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 much so if you don't know these sims are inspired by a couple of things the first thing is the actual real person that I'm creating um, if you don't know Hamilton is based on a real story uh, on real people so the first sim I'm creating is Angelica Schuyler and I basically just shaped her face based on a picture that I found of the real Angelica Schuyler well it's not a picture it's probably a painting or something but it's a you know what I mean so her entire face shape is inspired by that so she has um, the same nose and the same lips and the same all of those things but then the skin color because Hamilton is obviously um, as diverse as possible really uh, so the skin color is inspired by the first actress that played Angelica Schuyler and also the hair is inspired by the first actress so I actually gave her a very high slick back ponytail um, it's not necessarily how she wears her hair in the musical itself but I have seen her wear it like that in different interviews um, and I couldn't find anything that really looked like how she wears her hair in the musical so I went with that and I actually did that for uh, all of the sisters um, so I'm creating three sims in this episode of Hamilton Creative Sims so it's a little longer create a sim than I usually make. My normal create a sims are mostly under the 10 minutes mark. But this one is like 15 minutes long or something like that. So it's a longer video, but I'm creating three sims and we are going to have lots of fun. And I just put in Angelica's traits. Um, so the first one is the successful family thing because I feel like she cares about um, the future of her family because she actually goes off to marry a rich man instead of Alexander Hamilton because she's the oldest and her father doesn't have any sons so she is the one sort of providing the money for the next generation <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure Alexander did a pretty good job of getting money in the end but <laughs> that's a different story or a different discussion she's a bookworm because she talks about reading in the musical um, she's ambitious so I just feel like she would be and she is family oriented because she really really cares about her sisters and a little bit about the clothing um, it's inspired by the costumes in the musical so the first one is this like nude um, like light dress um, because that's sort of like what they wear in the first song um, I'm pretty sure they all wear the same color uh, although I think Eliza may have may wear white in that scene i'm not sure i gave her a white dress but i'm honestly not sure if that's true um and then i took their own like, color scheme so for angelica that's um orange um so for her formal wear she wears like a ball gown sort of thing in an orange color and for this one she wears like a flowy dress and I tried to keep with the dresses because for this time period um, I feel like most women did wear dresses um, nowadays it's fine to wear whatever but in this time they did wear dresses mostly so that's sort of what I stuck with for them even in their athletic wear and in their sleep wear um, sometimes in their swimwear I did do some like creative things with their swimwear but that's sort of where I <laughs> didn't incorporate the dress thing as much okay so let's talk about my favorite lines from Angelica Schuyler from the musical okay the first one obviously the part in uh, Schuyler sisters where she's like we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that that whole line is just awesome <laughs> I just love that <laughs> And then like Satisfied is just my favorite song of the entire musical. I think it changes like every single day, but I think Satisfied is my favorite. Um, 
really not satisfied. And there was like one time, and I thought I couldn't do like the fast parts. Um, but then one time I was just absentmindedly just singing along and then all of a sudden I was doing the fast parts So I think I just listened to it so many times that I just learned how to do that without knowing it <laughs> But I mean we do need to talk about my favorite part of the entire musical and this is not the entire song just this part is just Amazing. I was, the first time I was like, oh damn <laughs> um, So in the Reynolds pamphlet when she gets back from London and Hamilton is like, oh, you understand me? And she's like, I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find. And that whole part, you already know that part because obviously it's insatisfied. But then it goes up. It's like, um, I love my sister more than anything in this life. And then so on. Um, it's very late here so i can't really <laughs> sing very loudly because i wake i will wake up my parents so i'm sorry if it's not like completely in tune <laughs> okay and back to the creative sim <laughs> so i'm now moved on to eliza eliza schuyler or eliza hamilton depends on what part of the story you're talking about and again i'm doing the same thing where i use the face shape of the real uh, and not Angelica, Eliza, the real Eliza. And then I used the skin tone and the hair of the first actress who played Eliza. Um, I do use uh, a hairstyle that she wore at like an awards ceremony or something. It's not the one she wears in the musical itself because I couldn't find anything that matched again. So I am using something else, but it is inspired by the actress and then for Eliza she has like a blue color scheme so I went with the blue um, it's kind of a coincidence that this sim actually already had blue clo clothing on <laughs> um, it's not really orange blue and yellow by the way it's more like bronze gold and like a bluish silver but I for I, I mean we don't really have those colors in the sims so I'm just using orange yellow and blue for the Skyler sisters okay so favorite Eliza lines also share your favorite lines from the entire musical or from the Skyler sisters or share your favorite songs I would really 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 like to know so the first time we hear Eliza sing on her own really is uh, in helpless um, but honestly I don't really I don't really know any really really good lines from that song um, nothing really stuck with me um, I, I like this song but it's not my favorite so the second time we hear her sing is in That Would Be Enough. And that's the first time I really fell in love with um, Eliza Schuyler. So the line that really stuck with me from this character was in um, That Would Be Enough. Uh, Hamilton sings something like, Will you relish being a poor man's wife, unable to provide for your life? And then Eliza is like, I relish being your wife. Um, so Hamilton is scared that he doesn't have enough money to provide for her and Eliza is like I don't care about that, I just want you. <laughs> and that just really made me fall in love with this character. And I also really love that she just keeps reminding Hamilton that he really needs to stop and look around and see what's happening um, around him because he, like, he gets stuck in this mindset of I need to work, I need to work, I need to work, I need to be better at everything. And she's like, I mean... In her words, she's like, Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. So that's really also one of my favorite lines from the musical. But then my favorite line, and this is not really a line, it's just like a moment. It's in Burn, and Burn, like the entire song, is just amazing. That's like the first thing I need to say. The Burn is just amazing. But then at one point, it sort of builds up, and then it's like, and you are paranoid in every paragraph how they perceive you and then it goes back completely and i can't do this very well but the song is like you 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 but the way she sings it i i can't do that it just there's so much so much pain i just felt her pain when she sings it like that i mean if you haven't i mean i don't know why you're clicking on this video but if you haven't listened to Hamilton yet go listen to this song and listen to that moment and just be amazed at how much pain you can just feel by someone singing a song 
but what's really amazing about Eliza, not really the character, but just Eliza, like the real person, is that when Hamilton died, he, she just dedicated her entire life to him. Um, she made sure that everything he worked for was actually achieved, and uh, she like collected all of his writing. Uh, she, I'm pretty sure I heard this in an interview uh, with Lynn, that she um, told her like other sons that they needed to write like a biography is that the word for it um because she didn't have enough time um she established the first private orphanage in new york city right that's the line <laughs> uh which is probably also because of alexander because he was an orphan so she basically just dedicated her entire life to him and she didn't need to do that she could have done something for herself but she decided to make sure that all of his hopes and dreams were actually achieved and I guess that he had a legacy what's that that's what he wanted he wanted the legacy and she made sure that he had a le legacy and we are moved on to the final Skylar sister so I might have a problem with this one because I can't pronounce her name and it's not actually her real name it's like a nickname um, I'm not sure if it's like invented by Lynn or if it was actually a nickname at that time but when I was looking for her I actually found that out so if you don't know that's not a real name. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. I didn't talk about Eliza's traits yet. Okay, so I made her, um, instead of having like a successful rich family, I made her have a happy family because I feel like that's more important to her. Um, then I made her a music lover because she, obviously she teaches Philip to play piano. Mm, tragic. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I made her good because I feel like she's just a really good person. And the last one is probably family oriented, but I'm not sure anymore. Okay, so then for the third sister, whose name I can pronounce, I made her a teen because she is the youngest, youngest of the three. And then as always, her face shape is inspired by the real person who inspired the character. And then her skin color and hair is inspired by the actress who played this character. And also, if you hear weird noises right, right now, my dog is actually snoring pretty loudly in this room right now. So I hope you can hear that. And if you do, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to wake him up. That's like, I don't know. I'll feel bad. <laughs> so for a uh, name I can pronounce, I made her... I first gave her like the big happy family thing too. But then I actually gave her leader of the pack because... She, in the Skylar Sisters, the song, um, she's like always forgotten. And I feel like all she wants is just to have an important place. And that's sort of like the joke of this character. It's like she sort of pushed aside. Like, I want to be f famous too and have something to say, but I'm the youngest. So I'm sort of like set aside in the musical. I don't really have that much of an important role. So I feel like her life ambition is to be the leader of the pack. <laughs> And then I made her childish because she is pretty young, but I'm not sure if I changed that. And I made her gloomy because in Skylar's sister, she's also like, that he said not to go downtown, that whole thing. <laughs> so I feel like she's more of like a pessimist than an optimistic person. That's why I made her gloomy. And then I just sort of stuck with the same formula I've been using for the other sisters too. Uh, and she doesn't really have many lines, so I can't really say anything about that. I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> but this video is almost over, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye!